How you doing? What's going on? Welcome to the replay. Welcome to Daily Fuel. My name is Bobby. I am the host of this group, the spiritual artist, soon to be renamed Art Fueled Life. Quantasy. Ah, if you are in the, re I'm, I'm, I was planning to do the renaming thing this week, uh, which is why in my post last week uh, the, or earlier this week, I said this week, um, but I'm not ready. So uh, I, I'm, I'm still working on my, my website. So uh, I, I want everything in place this way when it's all there, everybody, no matter where you go, you don't hit a dead end. And, and all the information about what I'm doing is uh, I've been talking about this new business thing that I'm coming up with for so long. You probably thought I was never going to do it, but I'm doing it. And here it comes. It's going to be, we are days away. Um, if you're in the replay, say hello. Let me know you're in the replay. And uh, write a hashtag. Hashtag, I am in the replay. Hashtag, I don't know, make one up. I, you would think as such a creative person as I am that I could on the fly come up with hashtags for replay people after months of doing this. And yet, you know, the entire day goes by. And as soon as I get to this point, I go, man, another day that I didn't think of hashtags to say. And I, I just don't, I just, I, I don't know. I'm, you know what? I quit. Forget it. I just suck at this. Anyway, if you're live, uh, say hi and let me know that you're live. Like Amy, hello, Amy. And Ray is here. Hi, hi. And Kelly is first person here. No, you're the, well, maybe, but you're the third commenter on my list. So I don't know. Uh, live that, love that, Art Fueled Life. Thanks. Yeah, uh, I'll be posting stuff to explain everything uh, very shortly. And Amy says, hashtag made this up. <laughs> Crimson, yay, I made it to the live. Yay, Crimson is here. So, well, since Crimson's here, we can start now. Let's go. Hang on, let me, yeah, yeah. Uh, let me get rid of you here. Sorry, you, you you don't get to be here while I'm doing my spiel. <sighs> Spirits in the material world. Uh, it's kind of funny because uh, the other day I did one. Um, what the heck was it called? I can't remember it now. And But I used all the references from the police uh, album. Oh, Ghost in the Machine, I called it. Yeah, that was it. It was the police album, Ghost in the Machine. And the first song on that album is Spirits in the Material World. And I've been singing that song like all day now. And here we are once again with the police references. I left them all out of the, sh out of the thing this time. I did that already. But uh, anyway, I, I think it was Crimson said yesterday uh, something. I don't know what your intention was in the comment. It was just uh, words about uh, materialism and, and spiritualism. And it dawned on me that this was a topic that I had been contemplating talking about for some time and never got around to. And, and, and that is that there are, there are people, uh, and if you are one of them, that's fine. This is this, the, uh, my friend, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me just preface what I'm about to say with, with this is that, uh, something that I've learned from my friend Landon, uh, you've heard me talk about him. He and I have Friday calls every week. And one thing that he says is that there is no the truth. There is a truth that you subscribe to. And if it works for you, that's a truth uh, in the world, but it can be the truth to you, but it's not the truth for everybody, you know? So this one is about a truth that I subscribe to that works for me. If it doesn't work for you, you're quite welcome to disagree with it, not listen to me. Blah, 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 blah. I'm not saying you have to live this way. I'm just saying this is what works for me because there are many people, uh, in art world and in the spiritual world. This is like two worlds combining here, but I, I see it in both that have a kind of tendency to sort of knock materialism as uh, as bad. You know, um, I guess, you know, you could paint it as a money is the root of all evil kind of a thing, you know, but, but even that, it's like, uh, I, I see a lot of artists say, I don't do it for the money, I do it because I love my art. And that's great, um, I love my art. Um, but, uh, and, and for spiritual people, a lot of them, 
not all of them, but some of them, uh, you know, feel like materialism or wanting material earthly uh, desires and stuff isn't really spiritual. And I, I don't really subscribe to that one. Um, so I wanted to kind of uh, touch upon three reasons, the uh, surprise, the answer is three, uh, three reasons why I think that uh, that is not a truth that works for me. And if you disagree, that's absolutely fine. So number one, is source is everything source the universe the energy the spiritual realm from which we have come is everything it's everything uh life on earth requires resources and what's that word resources you know so we have to we have to take source from spirit but we have to sort of reimagine it in ways that we can use it here on this earthly 3d plane you know um source can be inspiration love the flow state appreciation all of those wonderful things that we like to talk about as spiritual people and as artists but source can also be money a beautiful house supplies uh equipment training people opportunities these kinds of things are also from source why because source is everything there is no thing that is not source it's not like the universe was created and source is like wow this is freaking amazing i'm everything except for that thing that thing over there is crap but somehow it got mixed in and i can't get rid of it because i don't know how to do that no it sources everything everything so that's number one so if source is everything then obviously nothing is to be dismissed out of hand without thinking at least well if source is everything and that's here then maybe that's a thing that that i could at least contemplate wanting or liking or looking at number two for me i feel source loves thrills and thriving right one of the things that i always sense is that uh I, I, if you heard me use this analogy once, I, I kind of uh, analogized the idea that uh, us coming to Earth as, uh, as source beings, the spiritual beings that we are coming to Earth is like us, the earthly people, going to an amusement park, right? It's like we live in source energy land for all eternity, time and space and all that stuff forever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever, and ever infinity, right? But we're like, you know what? for however many decades or whatever i'm gonna go and be that guy i'm gonna go down there and i'm gonna be that and i'm gonna play around in that amusement park on earth for a little while and that's like us going to the amusement park that day or that weekend or however long we go to the park that's what our life is it's like we're just all about the park you know it's like i want to go on the rides i want to do this i want to get the cotton candy and the ice cream and all that shit but uh that's not our life that's not everything we are still we still have our job and we still have our home to go to and we still have the kids and we still right we still have all that stuff so the same thing is like source us spiritual beings coming here where we're like living this life and we're really ingrained in it where we're 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 really invested in it you know except it's not everything it's not all of it it's it's like it's we we're still that so why did we come here the same reason we go to an amusement park for the thrills for the freaking amazingness of it i don't want to get on the roller coaster and be like i want to be like you know i want i want i want to be like going down and up and all over the place and be like wow that was freaking amazing like that's what i want well, that's what we wanted. That's why we came here. You know, so how can you have that if you get here and in order to do anything, you know, when you go to the amusement park, it's like, yes, I'm here. And they're like, I want to go on the roller coaster. And you're like, I want to go on the roller coaster. And they're like, that's five tickets. And you're like, well, I don't have any tickets. We well, got to get tickets. And they're like, well, I, I don't have any tickets and I can't get any tickets. Well, then you can't go on the amusement park. So then why am I here? Why am I at the amusement park? It's no fun to just watch everything. You know, so we come here and it's like we chose to come to this planet, to this world, to this life where resources on earth are necessary to do things. You want to be an artist? You need stuff. You want to live and eat food every day? Well, you got to go buy it and get it and have it, you know, and, and that requires resources. So without the resources, you don't get the thrills. You don't get the ride. You don't get to go on the roller coaster. So that's number two. And number three is... 
I don't believe that life on Earth is a zero-sum game. And uh, some people think, like, you know, well, if, if I uh, am doing... If I get too much, then there's not enough for everybody else. Uh, you know, that's like saying, well, I'm so healthy that uh, be, other people have to be sick in order for me to be this healthy. You know, and I just don't, I don't, I just don't subscribe to that. You can't get poor enough to make other people rich. You can't get, uh, you can't get starving artist enough to be, to be, uh, when you are that. When, when you're not letting yourself thrive, you can't bring the spark. If you're poor, if you're struggling, if you're just not thriving, then you can't put the attention you need to toward your own spark, toward your own light, toward your art. You know, you we don't get it from you because you don't have the resources to give it to yourself. And so that's why I think that we are spirits who have chosen to live in a material world. And while we're here, we knew damn well, let me play with that material. It's going to be fun. I want to touch it. I want to smell it. I want to taste it. I want to be it. It's not the everything. It's certainly not the basis of the universe. It's an amusement park. I want to go on the roller coaster. So... Agree or disagree, but that's my take on it. And uh, I'd love to see what your take is. Unless you disagree with me, then I'm going to cry. Uh, Amy says, oh, I said all these. Um, do, 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 do. Well, that's it. One comment. <laughs> okay, let's see. Let the comments start coming in. Now. I'm, going to start, uh, I'm going to start reading it. <laughs> Dagmar says, hi. Hi. How are you? And, well, oh, that's two, actually. Uh, Dagmar says, oh, nice topic. Thank you. All is energy. Desires are my glimmer sauce. Source, sorry. Uh, so, glimmer sauce sounds cool too. Uh, I love like you. I love like you. I know the alchemy. It's in the material world that it is uh, about going so deep. Connect with your stone, wood, metal. I have it with my art. I adore the material world as a tinkerer. Uh, creating with all that crosses my path or whispers into my heart. Yeah, uh, even if you think about it as artists, right? You know, that's a, that's a good point. Here's what I took from that. Uh, as artists, we, we, we create with material, you know? We create with material. If, if what are, you know, it's not like, uh, oh, you're an artist. What do you do? I'm a painter. Can I see your paintings? Well, no, because they're all in my mind, you know? And it's like, well, that's great for you, but... Um, nobody can see them no you can't share them your light doesn't shine outward that way and so you know it, we need to have the materials but the materials require materials to get we need to have money to buy them you know or other materials to trade for them or something you know so it's a game we wanted to play this game and uh, and and I'm just saying, mm, let's play it. Let's play. It's it it can be a lot of fun. Hector says, "Source is everything." Yes, source is everything. Name one thing that on this planet, or in this universe, that we can see, feel, that we can sense. Right? Name one thing. Even things that we can't sense that is not source. How is that? It's not. Everything is source. No wood, no fire. There you go. <laughs> That's it. That's it. Exactly. Wow. I, I'd really love to have a fire, but I have nothing to burn. I have no fuel. You know, I we I have no fuel. You know, every it's resources. I need fuel. I need resources. I need stuff. I love your spin on this topic. Well, thank you. Uh, you helped me look at materialism in a different light, and I'm going to reevaluate how I think about my own resources. It's amazing how I've been so caught up on negative thinking about this. Uh, yes, and um, thank you very much for saying that, for feeling it, for admitting it, and sharing that. I, I appreciate that so much. I'm going to soften that for you because it's not your fault. We're brainwashed into this. We are absolutely brainwashed as a society of spiritual people and as a society of, uh, of artists. We get the double whammy. Think about this for a moment, right? Who, who is like, can say, when people think of spiritual and stuff, who do they think of? You know, they think of like the monks in the cave and, and, and everything. Like if you really want to be spiritual, the, the belief system goes, you have to forego 
earthly desires and stuff like that. And religion is like, you know, you want to become a priest, you got to give up sex. It's like, what the fuck? You know, and it's like, it's weird. And it's like, why, how come I can't be close to God and be close to earth and, and the material things? You know, why, why am I, why is there this belief that I need to give up the resources that are right here on this place so that I can go back there when the whole point of me being here was to hang out here for a while because I'm always there. It doesn't make any sense to me. Um, and on the artist side, it's like, you, you know, it's the oh, you're an artist. Well, what do you do for a living though? I'm an artist. Yeah, but how do you make money? You know, it's like nobody can believe that we can do it. <laughs> nobody can understand that. No, it's a vocation. It's a thing. It's a thing that I do. There is money in it. There is <sighs> the starving artist. It's like, well, that's like the first thing people think of when you, I'm an artist. Oh, you, you must be starving then, you know? So don't be hard on yourself. Uh, Crimson or anyone else hearing these words because it, it was drilled into our heads, you know, that, that this crap. And, uh, or if you still believe it and you disagree with me, then it's not crap, but you know. <sighs> Thanks for sharing that thought. Uh, Dagmar, I love the positive mindset on money. Um, uh, manifestation, one of the bases is allowing the money to flow in, in the now, without too much planning on the how. You will attract it. It will find you in unexpected ways. The more you can imagine yourself as a magnet for money, like it sticks on you. Yeah. Yes. So let me leave that on for a minute so I can refer to it. Uh, there's so much greatness here. Um, I think, too, is that as art on the artist side of things is that we worry so much about like how can I make money on art because people don't believe that you can and then that belief system sort of seeps into our culture as artists that you can't and uh, and and really the fact that we're artists or periodontists or janitors is completely irrelevant what you do here on earth is completely irrelevant we are all spiritual beings on the same playing field on the same level with the same magic abilities to attract the resources that we need um, you may have heard me say this story i've said this before not a story a belief is that i know me and i know that if i were going to the amusement park, if i bobby the, the 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 person bobby were going to the amusement park right? I wouldn't just show up at the amusement park one day. I would bring some resources. I would bring cash for, you know, stuff for, for the tickets or, or, you know, if you get the ticket or the bracelet or if it's Disney World, you don't need any of that stuff. But you know what I'm saying, right? I was talking about those fairs where you, you have to give the guy the tickets to get on the ride. I would bring the cash for that, you know, I'd bring, uh, I'd bring money. I'd also bring the, the right shoes. I'd also bring the right outfit and stuff. I'd bring sunscreen. I'd bring my sunglasses. I'd bring, uh, you know, I'd bring um, whatever, you know, stuff to eat, right? I'd bring all that stuff. I would bring it with me. I wouldn't get there and show up naked and be like, what do I do? I don't understand what to do here. It's like, no, I bring crap with me. Well, I know that I would do that. And guess what? I know that I, big me, would do that too. I brought it with me, except that, I, you know, I was born as a person now and I have to kind of find it vibrationally. I packed it vibrationally. So how do you find it? You got to do what Dagmar just said. You got to you stop figuring out how to get it. You brought it with you. Figure out how to relax a little bit and allow it to come in. <sighs> Hector, I agree with the amusement park. What the amusement park say? No, <laughs> so stupid. Okay. Wow, I'm like giddy today. Uh, I agree with the amusement park. I'm going to look at uh, at that. Um, awesome topic. I feel inspired. Thank you. You're welcome. Thanks very much for the laugh. Uh, I hope everybody else laughed because I did. Kelly, I have nothing to add, really. I agree with the thrill of living being the point. Materials help us experience the thrills of driving an awesome car. Yep, playing with clay, bench swings, even small stuff. Materials help the experience. Yeah, and you know, the word material, right, gets a bad... I'm glad you said those things in that order. The car, the playing with clay, the bench swings... Those are all material things. But 
nobody who was Zen and the monk level and whatever would say like you can't sit on a swing. Don't don't go on that swing. That's a material. You know, you have to sit on a rock that that hurts your ass. No, you can sit on a cushion. Well, how come you can have a cushion, but you can't have a Maserati? You know, like, where's the line that this is okay and this is not? Is it because the masses can afford a crappy cushion or find one in the garbage? So even, like, homeless people have a cushion on the sidewalk. But they don't have Maserati, so that's not allowed. Like, I don't, I don't know where that line is or why it even exists. But when I say material... I mean everything. I literally mean everything. You know, uh, in order for me to do this live, I need my lights, I need my camera, I need paper to write things on. They're all material. If I didn't have a camera, I couldn't do the live. But I could do it without the paper, but it would be really annoying without any paper or pens because then I couldn't get my ideas down and in a way that I can remember them. I need a microphone. This isn't a $50,000 microphone, it's a $100 microphone. I could have even gotten a $5 microphone and it's still, you still hear my voice, you know? But where is that line? <sighs> here she is. Where you been? Yellow here. L O L O L. Uh, wine in advance. <laughs> uh, that's great. Amy, yes, I think Source and our higher selves would want us to have fun and enjoy the fruits of our labor. Of course. Of course! Right? If we believe that we're spiritual beings having a human experience, we, what, what, are we punishing ourselves? Is it like, uh, oh, hey, Amy, Source, you've been really bad up here in Source Energy Land. You have to go to Earth and live a crappy life for a couple of decades, and then, then maybe you'll come back and we'll let you we'll let you play with the fun stuff then. No, it was supposed to be like, let me see if I can tap into this feeling and let it flow to me, you know? And that's what it's about. Kelly, you got so passionate it really fired me up. Thank God for my phone and your camera and all of it that helped me watch this. Yeah, right. And you guys need material on your end. If you don't have a phone or a computer or an end, an internet connection, we're not together then. Unless you're here in the room with me and none of you are. So that'd be weird. Uh, Haley's here. Hello. How are you? Phone problems. <laughs> Look. <laughs> okay, except for Haley. Uh, law of attraction. Gratitude will always attract more, although grateful I made it to Daily Fuel. Me too. Uh, as for canvas, yep, materials. I am sad without it. I don't think I would be as sad without a phone. Right. You know, you can. Now, uh, you know what? That's a great point. Thank you so much. This is a really good point, is that um, we, we are allowed to prioritize the levels of, of material. So for some people might say, uh, you know, like maybe I would say, maybe, just as an example, I love my iPhone, I'm like, like I'm not, but some people are the kinds of people who every time the new one comes out, they gotta get online at Apple Store and get the new one because they have to have the latest thing. And I don't begrudge that because I think that's fun. Um, but I'm not necessarily like that. I'll get the new one when this one's paid off and then this one doesn't work anymore because it's good and I like it. Um, but there are certain things that I have to have, like the nice, I would prefer the nicer version. I would prefer the nicer car. I would prefer the nicer house, you know? Um, so if you're not re into the phone, but your friend is, your friend can get the phone, but maybe you, like Haley, are saying to yourself, I would much rather have uh, a, 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 an endless supply of canvases to paint and have a crappy phone, and I don't care about the phone. So you're allowed to prioritize where those things are for yourself. So maybe it's the bench over the Maserati, whereas for somebody else it's the it's the Maserati over the bench you know if, if, what I was talking about 10 minutes ago <sighs> Facebook user who's this it's a Donna did you know wow oh, I have a lot of you here you got so passionate phone Dan 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 Dan, a while back, the, uh, hey Dan, how are you, by the way? A while back, the, because uh, I think you've clicked the thing before, but we have to all click it again, so I'll tag you in a link. Uh, Dan says, the dream is to shit loads of money from work 
that you love doing uh, to, oh, as to shit loads of money uh, or to get shit loads of money, whatever it is. Uh, but there are a lot of artists, uh, bad mindsets that have suggested money is soulless. That's a good word for this. I personally have struggled with this, but I've determined to overcome it. Uh, that's really, really great. Um, this is a whole different daily fuel, uh, one that I'm... Uh, uh, I'm formulating in my head is about the difference between um, just briefly is that I have personally had issues with acquiring that level of abundance there there are so many things in in life that we are good at just manifesting uh, you know for you it might be different things than me uh, and for me I've never been you know like poor or th whatever but I'm always like I am always trying to figure out how to get this business that I want to have like to this new stratospheric level so that I can get the Camaro and the Jaguar in the house and what I have come up with is to realize that I was going about it backwards. I was not doing what Dagmar said to do before. I was trying to figure out how to get it through some business. And then I would just pick a business that kind of fit in with my art. You know, I was a web designer. I was a this, I was a that. And they, they all fit. I'm an artist, so I'll do this. I can make money selling this kind of art, you know. And none of them were what I actually wanted to do. None of them were what I wanted to do, which is why people use that word soulless because some people end up making a lot of money in a business or through some kind of thing, but it's not what drives their soul. They're not doing their soul's work, so it feels soulless. And uh, man, that is such a good point. Uh, that's like a whole different category that fits onto, it's like an adjacent category. I could, I, I could, new spiel, let's start. No, I'm kidding. Um, that might even be soon. Uh, hey everyone. Hey Donna. Earn, earn, earn shit loads of money. Yeah, I got it. Uh, uh, assuming that's Dan, because it's just his Facebook user. I'm gonna, earn, uh, I'm gonna earn. I'm gonna assume. Um, they says Kelly. They reinforce lack mentality as a virtue. Yes, it's fucked up. The belief is deeply ingrained, but once we expose it, like Bobby is so gracefully doing right now. <laughs> Uh, we can see how ridiculous the belief is and let it go. Yeah, try to ask yourself, do I believe this because it works for me? Or do I believe this because it was just jingled into my head all the time? If it works for you and you are truly happy and floating through life, then you figured it out. And I don't care if you live on a dollar a day. The, the, the point of life is to be happy and feel the thrills. For most of us, lack of resources, lack of earthly resources is not a virtue, it's a burden. And because it's such a burden, we don't feel the thrills. And that's the point. That's what this is about, is that, but then we're told, but you're not supposed to like those things because you're a spiritual person and an artist. You're a double sucker. Nah, nah. Screw all that shit. We're allowed to have the resources that we need. And you're allowed to choose the level of resources that you need. And I'm allowed to choose the level of resources that I need. And they could be stratospherically different or not. It doesn't matter. The point is, what's going to make Bobby happy? What's going to make Kelly happy? What's going to make Dan happy? What's going to make Dagmar happy? The rest of you I don't care about. But I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm teasing. I'm just not naming everybody. Uh, those are the ones that I saw. Uh, <laughs> Dagmar says, Abundance can be blocked by limiting thoughts out of a state of too short, not enough. You cannot create your desired life on earth. Uh, joy, play. Oh, I like how you did the art in Earth. That's cool. Uh, joy, play, and trust. I have a good video about money manifestation too, by the way. Uh, yeah, abundance can be blocked by limiting thoughts. It, it, you know, these are limiting thoughts that we're talking about here. The limiting thoughts of I, I'm spiritual or I'm an artist or pff, both, and I'm not supposed to want this. And it's limiting because it's it's in contrast to what your source, spirit, higher self, inner you knows to be true. Is that, nah, yeah, but you kind of did want it. <laughs> That's why we're here. Um, so there's that. Sex again, no comment. Did I say sex? <laughs> I want the full experience. Yes. 
the spiritual depths and the material luxury and sensual delight. I want it all. Yeah. I can have it all. I can allow it all. It's right here for me. Absolutely. That was a beautiful affirmation right in the comments. Thanks, Kelly. Yes, I am a money magnet. I give myself permission to ask for it. There's another one. Perfect. Absolutely. Dagmar. Visualizing is also handy. We are good at that part. Yeah, we are good at that part, aren't we? Hello? Right? Imagine. Go wild. Desires. Do not limit. And you can always open up when you feel you restrict yourself by thoughts. Not wanting something does not work. The universe ignores the word not, no, so be aware of what you want instead of what you don't want. Yeah, because as Abraham says, you look at something you don't want and you shout no at it. You're giving your attention and your energy to it. And the universe just feels the energy of the thing you're shouting no at and says, here's more of that. And that's that. Right, right. Finally, Robin, geez, I, I thought I was going to have an easy day today. Uh, it's not that we, or rather I, have chosen to live in a material world like Madonna, but that it is a necessity oftentimes for us to fulfill our, our, our artistic genius. Um, yeah, I would argue that we chose to live in a material world as the spiritual beings that we are and said, I am going to go and live in that material world. So I would argue that we chose that. Um, but, you know, I don't have proof. I, I didn't bring the paperwork with me, so I don't know. Um, because of many things, we need to eat, drink, sleep, etc. to accomplish uh, that we need resources. And to be able to create, we need materials. Yes. Materials to use, combine, change, do... Uh, distort, enhance, et cetera, et cetera. To obtain these, we need resources. So those are the many of the reasons that my spirit needs resources obtained in the material world, in my humble opinion. Very good. Yeah, absolutely. That's it. Omega watch. Oh, yeah, I like watches. Is this Dan again? I'm going to earn. Yeah, that was Dan. Uh, Omega watch. Yeah, Dan. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm big into watches. I like watches a lot. And uh, I would like to get a luxury watch. I'd love to have one, like a, a, an Omega, uh, well, I think you say Omega uh, watch or a, uh, not so much a Rolex. I, I don't like the style, but uh, something like that, uh, definitely. Plus, I'm a James Bond fan and he wears the Omega watches. So, and they're cool looking. I like them. So, yeah. There is no limit. If you want a car, go into it. What car? What brand? What color? What blank? Feel you sitting, driving the car. See the view outside, the smell. The more real you make it, the more powerful. Our mind does not know the difference between the imaginations or the real experiences. And always gratefulness. Are you with it? Was is my blockage on this topic. Are you with it? I like that. Are you with it? Are you with it? You know, we're allowed to want what we want. We're allowed to have what we want. And we are allowed to be what we want. Thank you, Dagmore. That, that's a really good uh, reminder. Yep, me. You what? I don't know. <laughs> Haley, I think personally there's nothing wrong with anything material as long as it's not the only driving force of what life is all about. Yes. Okay, good point. Because you are more likely to get disappointed and broken when it disappears. If you focus on the moment and just be happy, whatever, what comes, uh, what goes, go. what comes, comes, what goes, goes, just breathe. Yeah, that goes back to what uh, Dan had said and then I was uh, riffing on about it becomes soulless. When people are just working or doing something specifically for the only reason of acquiring material gains... They're not doing that. In that case, I think that's another reason that material gains can get a bad rap is because uh, because then sometimes people are just trying to acquire things for the show of it. And but but they're they're getting things they don't even care about. And that's what soulless is. And that that does not fulfill us. You know, I don't need a Maserati to get where I want to go. I don't know why I'm saying Maserati. I don't even want a Maserati. But I don't know. You know, I don't need a Camaro or a Jaguar to get where I'm going. I can get in the car that I have and it'll take me where I'm going. But I don't care about just getting where I'm going. I care about the experience of going there. And for that, I want the car. But... I'm not trying to get the car so that I can have it in my driveway and look better than my neighbors and, da -da 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 and put on the show. I don't care what people think about me. And I don't and I'm not working at something that I hate just to get it. 
I do want that car, but I'm not going to run a business that is killing me and is going to drive me into an early grave out of stress and anxiety and, and just hating 95% of my life so that I can drive this goddamn car. I don't care about it that much. I care about being happy first. The car can just make me a little happier. <laughs> so great point, Haley. Thanks for uh, that point. Thank you. Amy, I'm a super wealthy spiritual artist. I like that affirmation. Let's put that in the group. Wow, I just realized how much I've been limiting my own powers by my jaded beliefs. It's okay. We all do it. We all do it. And that is what Daily Fuel is about, is just looking at it and saying, does this work for me? No? Well, you're allowed to throw it. You're out. You're allowed to get rid of it. You're allowed. So don't knock yourself now. Don't be like, oh, why did I do this? All these, it, it doesn't matter. There, you didn't miss any boats. There's no time limit. I don't care if you're 95 years old. There is no time limit. We are eternal beings. We forget that. There, no time limit. Just, just start today. Yes, me too, Crimson. Donna, you got a time limit. <laughs> you live in Australia. You're gonna get you're gonna get bitten by one of those spiders. <laughs> a hydrogen powered Aston Martin. <laughs> now we're talking, man. Aston Martins, Jaguars, they're like right there. Yeah, I, I love those cars. Is this still Dan again? Uh, Dan, yeah. Uh, that's what I want. Yeah. I you know what, I, I would be with you on the Aston Martin for sure. Um, I'm into luxury things. I love them. I love watches. I love clothes. I love uh, the cars, the, the, the houses, like I, the, the studio that I envision. And Dagmar, you reminded me because I feel like I have not been putting enough time into envisioning myself in that studio and feeling it. Um, I'm going to start doing that more. So thanks for that. Are you worth it? That's a good, oh, worth it. That's a that's an even better question. Are you with it was a good question, but are you worth it uh, is even, um, but are you with it sounds so great when you say it, Bobby, you're funny. Uh, yeah, I liked, are you with it? Uh, you know, like it just like, are you, are you with this? Is it, is it working for you? But are you worth it? <sighs> Has another whole angle to it, right? You have to ask yourself, am I worth, ask yourself this question, am, am I worth being happy? The answer should be yes to that question. Nobody, no matter what your beliefs are, should be have a hard time saying, yes, I deserve to be happy. And then you can start asking yourself the harder question of, is my belief system working to make me happy or working to put me in a place that is making other people around me more comfortable? Usually it's the latter, and that does not work. If you're happy, then I don't care how rich or poor you are. This isn't about being rich. This isn't about being, we all have to be millionaires. This is the Millionaires Artist Club. It's not. I don't care about that. Um, it's about being happy. It's about having an art-fueled life, not a money-fueled life. Crimson, now you can choose a new belief to affirm in its place. Look at it as a blessing to have it exposed. Yeah, right? This is a gift. It's it's not a... It's not a Wow, there was one comment when I started the car. <laughs> see, what, see what happens when I ask for something? They don't stop. Uh, the pursuit of the material just for the material shrivels the spirit. That's really a good point, right? That's soulless. That's wonderful, Robin. Thanks. I want a super old, completely restored Volkswagen bus. That's cool. Somebody else wanted that. It wasn't you. So who else was saying they wanted it? Was it, was it, uh, was it you, Haley? Wanted the Volkswagen uh, bus? Those are cool. That's not my style, but I can totally see that. That's amazing. I just thought that. that well, it was a great thought, and I'm stealing it. Um, I love luxury, too. I love to be a queen. Of course. You you are all queens, and except you, Dan, and uh, unless you want to be. But, uh, right, we, we are. We are all kings and queens, and we need to remember to treat ourselves that way. We deserve it. Am I worth it? Am I worth it? Right? The answer should be yes. Now, am I with it? Get with it if you're not. Maybe if you're not with it yet, then just get with it. It's okay. Lion's tooth, cool. Oh, wait, I skipped you. Sorry, Rob. Why do I always skip Robin? Are you with it? Sounds a little like the 60s. Bet you're <laughs> 
<sighs> yes, changing my beliefs. Awesome. I want a yurt. A yurt. Do I know what a yurt is? I don't know what a yurt is. I think I do. I think I've heard of it. What is a yurt? Is that? A, I'm sitting here trying to figure out what's a yurt, and then like in a comment or two down the road, she's gonna be like, "I meant a blue." <laughs> I don't know what a yurt is. Anyway, uh, I want a greenhouse. Says Ray. Uh, Ray, uh, are you building a greenhouse? You said you got the tent in place to fix the shed or something like that. Are you building a greenhouse? That's uh, good luck with that. I hope you get one. Am I worth it? Am I with it? Genius. Cool. We'll, we'll, we'll give Dagmar credit on that uh, since she wrote it. I think a yurt is like a goat. I don't know. I don't know what a yurt is. It could be a goat. Do they have goats in Belgium? I assume so. Uh, anyway, a yurt is a Mongolian tent. Is it? <laughs> wow, that's such a specific thing. Um... <laughs> A yurt is a super luxurious tent. Oh, okay, cool. Oh, you mean like those uh, those really, really cool ones? Okay, that's yeah, I, I could see that. Good, then get a yurt. Uh, I love your greenhouse studio. That's pretty amazing. Um, well, guys, I think we're done. Uh, start commenting for the booby prize fight if you would like to get into that while I say goodbye, and, uh, and we'll see who wins. I am so excited. I cannot tell you how excited I am. Here's what I am really appreciative about, and especially in the spirit of this one, is that I'm about to launch this business idea and share it with you guys in a few days. And I feel so blessed that I have figured out that what I want to do uh, is Daily Fuel. I just want to do this. I just want to do this all the time. It's It lights me up. I want to do my graphic novel and I want to do my music and I am doing those things. But I just feel like there's something about doing Daily Fuel that is just, it, it is how I light up. And, uh, and I have to do it all the time. And, and, um, and I just wanted to thank you for, for being here uh, in this group. Even if you're just watching replays, that's fine too. It's just you're part of this and you're adding your energy to it. But especially people who show up and comment and have these conversations with me. Because these conversations would be boring if there was nobody to talk to. But uh, a yurt is a tent. Oh yes, self-worth is most important without a doubt. Absolutely. Um, not building a greenhouse, but I would love to. Uh, I love the pick of Dagmar's greenhouse. It's pretty amazing. Uh, thanks, Bobby, for the live today, leaving me feeling enlightened. Good. I'm very happy to hear that. So, Crimson, um, you can have the booby prize today. And uh, as part of your, your, your new enlightened um, outlook on things, go and uh, think about that. And, I, you know, see where you land. And, and don't rush to get anywhere tomorrow. It, 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 this could take a day or a week or a month, especially if you're sitting here thinking, like, I need to change this belief system that I have. That can take time, so don't worry about it if you keep feeling it seeping in. Um, but uh, you can do it, for sure. Uh, so Crimson gets the booby prize. Daily fuels are like talking to your artistic self. Yeah, this was a great one today. Hashtag fueled my fire. Thank you, Kelly. Uh, which is cool. What was... I forgot what you said. <laughs> yes, Bobby. The I thing uh, where you feel so much in your high energy. This... This is a thing where you feel so much in your high energy. I really do. I feel this. It just... <sighs> Thank you, guys. All right. So, uh, Crimson, you still got the booby prize. Have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful night, uh, day, if you're not in nighttime. And I'll, uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Yeah. Thanks, guys. See you later. Bye-bye.